What's good, you two? Everyone, you two here back again, once again. Today, people, today we're back for episode number 35 of our Pokemon Glaze Nuzlocke. In the last episode, you guys, we made it here to Mahogany, to, 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 to Mahogany Town, and we went into the old Team Rocket hideout or base or whatever you want to call it beneath the souvenir shop here because apparently Regina. Who's put together a shamble of a team team fusion is still attempting to catch all the legendary Pokemon and Price had the Thunder Orb, I think? Saved on a PC or something like that. And Price being the crippled, decrepit old man he was, had to do what he could for a little bit of change. Cause sometimes it do something strange for a little bit of change. But anyways, you guys, we also found out that Regina is headed back to Bell Tower. So today's episode, before we make any more progress and attempt to get our final badge, we have to go back to Bell Tower and stop Regina and Team Fusion from matching with all these legends. Johto, just let them be. They're endangered. They're endangered. They're, uh, um, uh, um, what's the term? I can't think of the term off the top of my head, but it's, it's whatever. Anyways, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Pokemon Glaze, and of course, if you're a prime member of the Happy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, you guys asked us to raise our goal to 4,000 likes on the last episode. And you guys absolutely destroyed it, my opt it as usual. It scares me because it's like, where are all these people coming from? Either way, today's goal for, for today's goal for today's episode. Let me just be monotonous as I can. Uh, but today's goal for today's episode is another powerful 4,000 likes. So if you'd like to show your support and help us reach our goal, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Now let's get a quick party update because even though we had a grinding montage in the last episode, some craziness still went down. We have Jay, our Electivire, who level 74 holding the lucky egg with thunder punch earthquake brick break and strength probably once he gets to 75 i'll swap the lucky egg onto somebody else and start training them as well but we have general sword blaze king who's level 71 holding the black belt to power up his brick break he's also rocking earthquake slash and blaze kick then we have dudley or Armaldo, who's level 71 holding the quick claw because even at level 71 his speed is not past 100 he's a slow little tortoise yes he is but he's got slash fury cutter earthquake and rock blast then we have Jessica Ardrapion, who's level 70, holding the King Drop because there's nothing else we can really give it. But it's got Knock Off, Crunch, Poison Fang, and Earthquake. Then we have Soul, our Sceptile, who's level 72, holding the Silk Scarf to power up its Quick Attack because let's get as much priority damage as we can. It's also rocking Dragon Claw, Brick Break, and Leaf Blade. Then last but not least, we have <laughs> one of these does not belong. <laughs> we have Britannia, our Piplup, because unfortunately, in the last episode, we had another death. You know what, let's hope in today's episode we don't have any deaths. I'm gonna knock on wood as well. <laughs> and hopefully we don't have any deaths in today's episode and we can finally break this streak, this morbid streak that has cursed us on Glaze. But we have Britannia, our, our Primplup here, who is just rocking with the experience share in the party because if we do another grinding montage, then everyone's gonna get super duper over leveled and we don't want that. Uh, I also noticed it's a calm nature, which is perfect for an Empoleon. Perfect, perfect, perfect for an Empoleon. But it's rocking Water Pulse, Peck, Surf, and Ice beam so once it does finally uh level up and evolve into a mighty empoleon uh its movesets almost well its movesets basically halfway there so we're good to go and it's also nice that we have retaining the team because they didn't know this last episode when we had julia on our team our entire team was physical the entire team was physical which is not the smartest thing to do when you're doing a nuzlocke because if a physical wall shows up we are down shit creek without a paddle. <laughs> but either way, we're gonna make our way back to Ma. No, wait, 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 we're in Mahogany Town. We're gonna make our way back to Ecruteague City so that we can head up into the Bell Tower. Excuse me, and see what Regina's rocking out with. I feel like Regina's gonna try and get. Because I feel like, well, we know the Volcano Orb was for Entei. She got that originally. Oh, they just let us in right now. <laughs> they just let us in. They want to let us in before. Some thugs in a gray coats a game and force their way into the tower. Please get help. I got you, big dog. Uh, so she got the Volcano Orb for Entei. And there's no music on Bell Chime Trail. This is really weird. She got the Volcano Orb for Entei, and she got the Thunder Orb for Raikou. So I'm guessing she's come here to get the Orb for Suicune? I don't know. Skarmor, you stealing? Go on, we'll hold them off. Abasol, use a dark boss. I will battle this grunt and join you shortly. Zangus use, thun Zangus use Thunderbolt. What the hell? Let's talk to him. Two can play at that game, Skarmory. I have a mean Thunderbolt waiting for you. Brock, be prepared to get a taste of steel, Zangos! You better be off attacking your ally instead of me. You're better off attacking your ally instead of me, Survivor. You might win. Ooh, he's talking shit. You shut up. You stupid Absol. I may be fighting alongside my mortal enemy, but I will defeat you. And Sadie's going crazy in the background now, so give me one second, you guys. 
Anyways, UPS came to the door, and I got a powerful box, and we will open that sometime later, because it's not appropriate to sit here and open up mail in the middle of an episode, in the middle of a recording. I know there's going to be so many of you guys that are like, oh my god, what's in the box? You'll never know. I'll just leave it in suspense. Let me know in the comment section below what you think is in the box. Anyways, we saw. let's get in this bell tower before Regina just tears the whole place down. So let me see what we're doing. Oh no, please don't let this be what I think it is. Oh, it is. Uh, these thugs have gone. I'm so happy that the tower was unharmed. The thugs have gone. What the hell? No, they didn't. They're right here. What the hell's wrong with you? If this is what I think it is, which I'm pretty sure it is, then this is going to be... This is Ho-O's tower. So this is going to be such a pain in the ass. Such a pain in the ass. Because we have to go through all those floors all over again. Nah. But, our first battle of the episode, we get Primple up to evolve into Empoleon. <laughs> which I ain't mad about. <laughs> we just got another 34 levels to go before he's up to par the rest of the team. Look at him dancing. Look at him. And I'm dancing. Ah. And I'm dancing. Ah. So, he evolved into Empoleon, and fun fact for you guys, last episode, or actually, originally, I said, I, I shed, I said I wasn't sure if I spelled Britannia's name correctly, and originally I didn't, I spelled it B-R-I-T-T-A-N-I-A, -T -T -A -A, and that's what it was in the last episode, I looked it up afterwards, since we're using Britannia on the team now, and it's B-R-I-T-A-N-N-I-A, -A. and the last episode, Britannia's name was misspelled, but I spelled it correctly on the layout, and there was a couple of you guys that caught it. And I was like, I hope no one catches this. And of course, somebody did. Oh, well, this is our first encounter in Bell Tower. It's a powerful Rattata. But we already have Eradicate in the, in the PC, so that is actually Species Cause. So if we can run into something else, that would be even better. That would be even better. Because we can diversify our bonds. Diversify our bonds, nigga. And we're back here. Feels like this is Soul Link all over. Soul Link was shady all over again. I'm stuck in this stupid ass tower with all these rats. Rats in the rafters. That's all this is. Rats in the fucking rafters. Can I stay? Yo, if this is all I'm gonna encounter, I'm about to spray the finest of Max Repels. He said, Are you lost? I'm about to spray the finest of Max Repels. Oh god. And get the hell up out of here. And how come that Tauros just ate up a brick break? What the hell? Like, I didn't think Tauros was that bulky. I mean, Electivire is not that weak either. Like, come on now. Be a little more realistic. And this is going to take us... Hold on, this, is, this time I actually want to see everything that's in the tower, but I feel like if we're going to do that, we're going to have to pop out one of these Max Repels. I'm tired of running into Rattatas. I'm going to be honest with y'all niggas. I'm tired of running into Rattatas. There's three doors in here. Ooh. There's three doors in here, and I don't know if I'm a fan of that. No, you don't need Whirlpool. A Magamortar. No, you don't need no goddamn Whirlpool, nigga. No, you don't need no goddamn Whirlpool. An escape rope, which will actually come in handy. Pretty sure that I actually come in handy sometime soon getting out of this stupid ass tower. But what floor? I wish they would tell us what floor this was. I think this is the next floor up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the assumption that the uh, the doors that the team fusion members are standing next to is the correct path because I can never remember the path through here. Now, this took us back downstairs, that took us to the escape rope. That took us back downstairs. Okay, so I think this is the correct door. It shows I need to go down right here instead of continuing. And then, question is, there's two doors here. I think this is the correct one. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. So, just because they're standing next to a door does not mean that it's the correct one. Did he really just endure the hit? Get the fuck out of here, bruh. Get the fuck out of here, bruh. You ain't enduring shit, Narco. Oh, God. That actually scared me for a second that he, he lived the hit because if he hit me with a counter, Jay would have been gone, dead and gone. Alright, so we got Jay to 75, so we can take the Lucky Egg off of you, and honestly, I don't really know who I want to rock out with next. Uh, let's go with Soul. Let's go with Soul. And let's, uh, let's actually give you the Lucky Egg, and then I'm going to give Jay the Silk Scarf for right now because Jay actually does rock out with strength, so the off chance that we do... <laughs> Use strength. I mean, it's better than nothing. You know what I mean? It's better than not having anything at all. Okay, so we are making it the correct way through the tower. I don't think this is the right way. I think this takes us to an item. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, this scares me. 
He's gonna thrash. Okay. It's scary because if he used the poison move, then we'd be in a world of trouble. A world of trouble. A world of trouble. We have a pretty big ground weakness. Oh my god. A Needle King runs house on our team. Earthquake, 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 earthquake. Oh my god. What do I do? Poison point? Okay, poison point's better than getting hit with a poison type move. I'll take that much. Oh, who's he about to use? I didn't, I didn't see who he's about to use. Did he say Rampart or Magmortar? Ooh. Actually, that's fine. That was a perfectly acceptable switch. Electivire? Fine. EQ it again, bitch. Fuck out my motherfucking face. But yo, I love how the, the um, whatchamacallit? The team, the team fusion members here actually have like serious teams. Like, you can get rocked. Well, we did in the last episode. We got a shiny stone. Hello, Togekiss, here I come. We have a Togepi in the PC as well. Yo, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. And we're stuck here in the middle. Shit. Stuck in the middle. You. That's what I was gonna say. I'm pretty sure that didn't lead us anywhere. So my thing is. I think this one that's to the south there is the correct way to go. Speak of the goddamn devil. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Are you kidding me? He has an aura sphere right then and there? And E speed too. E speed me all you want, bruh. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get the full restore out. We're gonna have to get some more potions sometime soon. I think this is the right way. I think it's. Oh no. 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 We have to quick attack. I guess so would be the best one. Destiny Bond? Please don't crit, soul. Please don't crit. Whatever you do. Oh my god, he just critted. He just critted. No! No! Stop with this! Oh my! I'm so tired of this! I'm so tired of this game constantly killing my Pokemon! Stop! Of course I would get a crit. And of course, the one turn he goes for counter is the turn that I get a crit! We lost the Glaceon last episode. We we didn't we lost Kingdra to a Glaceon last episode because of a crit, and we basically lost Soul just now again because of a crit. I can't win. I cannot win. It's literally every single episode now. For like the past 10 episodes, we lose a Pokemon. It does not matter how safe and how careful I play. Literally, I'm going to have to just attack and then heal. 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 Because literally, every single Pokemon we fight from here on out is going to body us. Even even though even though compared to these trainers, we are technically over-leveled. Because uh, against gym leaders and, I guess, bosses in the game, we're not overleveled. But these bitch-ass trainers, we are overleveled on. And I, I, I do not understand it. I don't understand why every single episode something has to body us. Like, it's it's ridiculous now. I've never done a Nuzlocke like this before. Where ten episodes in a row we lose Pokemon. Never. <sighs> Fuck out of here, dude. Fucking Wobbuffet of all Pokemon. I don't understand. I, I'm legitimately dumbfounded. Like, I don't get it. I've never, ever, ever lost this many Pokemon in a Nuzlocke before. It's starting to, like, it's starting to really, really aggravate me. Because it's like, it's not like I'm, well... It's not like I'm making stupid plays. When we were in the gym, we made some stupid plays. But, like, literally every single other death that we've had has been just absolute, utter, ridiculous bullshit. Sunny day. Oh, thank you. Let me just swap out my Sceptile for sunny day. That makes it all worth it. I'm gonna go through here. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's my OCD for you. I wanted to see if there was another item there or something, and that platform takes us back to the start. You gotta be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. We just made it all the way to the top, and why, why would you put that platform there? Why would you even make that plat- I guess if you want to go heal, I was gonna say, why would you even make that platform accessible? But I guess if you wanted to go and heal, that would, that would make sense for the platform to be there. 
But still, like, that is so... I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> like I said in the last time, so look at our box. Look at the power we have lost in this Nuzlocke. And I don't understand why. And over half of it has been in just Johto alone. Oh my god. I don't get it. I don't get it. I guess I can take this opportunity to add another special attacker to the team. Uh, Shaman would be nice, but I have to get up to level 100 to see to get to get Seed Flare. So if I wanted to add another special attacker to the team, that's not a type we already have. The Pikachu obviously is an option yet again. Yo, why is Mianxiao blue in the PC? Hello? I wouldn't mind using Mianxiao, I wouldn't mind using Billy. No, oh, Billy! But we already have those typings represented on the team. I don't understand, like, I'm just not meant, I'm not meant, I'm just not meant. Uh, maybe the Togepi wouldn't be a bad idea, we'd have J and JJ on the team. Togepi wouldn't be bad, because if we had, uh, Toga Kiss, we could rock out with, like, Aura Sphere, Moonblast, uh, Thunder Wave, we can get it on there. I can teach a Spore, maybe. That would be the best idea, honestly, I feel like that's the best idea, we'd have a Fairy Flying type on the team. And it would be another special attacker, Air Slash as well. It would be another special attacker. Because literally everything else that we, I would I would want to put on the team is all physical. Because there's Mammal Swine. I guess I could rock out with uh, Frost Slash. Frost Slash wouldn't be a bad idea. Ice, Ghost, maybe Frost Slash. I don't know, let me know, let me know. So now we have three questions of the day, because we have the regular question of the day. Then we have your guesses for what's in the package that came. And then, let me know if we should add either... Frostlass or Togekiss to the team. Because obviously we're going to have to have a grinding montage in the next episode. It's easier to work out one Pokemon with the experience shared leveling up. But now we have two Pokemon to replace on the team. That's a bit different. So let me know in the comment section below as well. Frostlass or Togekiss over here. I said it too. I said it too. Please don't get a crit. 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 Please don't please don't get a crit. Hey, please don't get a crit. Please don't please don't get a crit. And the one turn that I get a crit on the Wobble Fed is the one turn. That's the one turn that he uses counter. Safeguard, Destiny Bond, all this other bullshit. And then the one turn that I get a crit. Mess this one up. Take me back. I'm just I'm just starting to get like depressed now because it's like every time I sit down to record, I know I'm gonna lose a Pokemon. <laughs> and it's just like why? Like what am I doing wrong? Like I'm I'm playing as as safely as I possibly can. Like even even if even if like when it comes to everybody else on the team. Like, he is the best person to have. Soul would have been the best person to have out. Because everybody else would have done too much damage. I might, actually no, Je Jessica the Drapion might have been able to one-shot with Crunch since it's Stab. I might have been able to one-shot with Crunch. But literally everybody else, Quick Attack is the best thing to use. Because it dishes out small damage, so if, 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 he would have used Counter and it wasn't a crit, Soul would have lived. Soul would have lived. We've tried that on multiple Let's Plays before. Soul would have lived. But, of course, he had to get the crit. And use counter then. Anyways, only you can prevent loss saved, Adam. Let's make sure you save the game. Yada, yada, yada. You know how it goes. Regina, what's up? To represent the lightning that struck this tower! The Thunder Orb! To represent the flames that engulfed the tower! The Volcano Orb! To represent the rain that extinguished the blaze, the Aurora Orb. I have rearranged the orbs as the legends say. Come, ho ho! -Oh. Yo, speaking of ho ho, -Oh, ain't that about a bitch? Today's the day I wore my new ho ho -Oh shirt. Ho ho -Oh speaks. Brock! <laughs> oh, it's a giant chicken. 
I have heeded your call, Regina, but I have seen into your heart, and I know it is not pure. Return the orbs and leave in peace. Don't tell me what to do! The orbs have been arranged, so now you belong to me! Oh god, is Regina gonna take on Ho-Oh? Yo, look at her! Oh, oh. oh my goodness, wow, Ho-Oh appeared. Regina's battling the Ho-Oh. It only has false sight with one move. <laughs> only move it has is false swipe. Okay. Are we really gonna do this? Are we really gonna sit here and watch him false swipe this, this ho -Oh over and over and over again? Doesn't ho -Oh get roost? Why does ho -Oh have gust? Can I fight this ho -Oh? This quick attack gusting ho -Oh? Every time I fight ho -Oh, it's rocking Sacred Fire or some other crazy shit. Oh, 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 she just returned her Pokemon. She has no Pokemon on the field. Oh, she has a potion! That's some biggity ass bullshit right there. This is the biggest crock of shit battle I've ever seen in my life. Because, number one, if I battle Regina, her absolute is going to night slash hell all my Pokemon and get crits each time. Number two, you know she got four restores, not just one potion. Number three, who the hell catches the ho oh, oh in one Pokeball while it still has green health? I've. I've done it! I really captured ho oh and now that I have, it's time to deal with our little spectator. Oh yes, I knew you were watching the whole time. You can spread the story of how I, Regina, captured Ho-Oh. But not without a little revenge. You can't beat me with a legendary on my side. I guess Soul would have helped with the uh, Ho-Oh anyways, but I guess it's time for us to battle Regina with her three Pokemon. There's a Ho-Oh. Hello, Ho-Oh. Hope I don't get gusted. I'm guessing Dudley's the best bet for this. I know Ho sometimes carries Earthquake, but I don't think he gets it by level up. I'm pretty sure. We're Calm Nature too. Eat it up, Dudley. Eat it up. Dudley! Oh my. Dudley, I want to give you a big old hug, nigga. So it carries Flamethrower, Safeguard, Gust, and Quick Attack. Oh, come on now. You can't be missing. <laughs> this is the most whack-ass Ho I've ever seen in my life. Isn't Ho physical? That's why it carries Sacred Fire? Damn, nigga! That was a crit! <laughs> I will take it, Dudley come through, Dudley come through, Dudley come through! Okay, so she has a Zoroark next. Uh, I'm gonna go out to uh, General So here now. His lucky egg holding ass. Isn't that weird, this big ass chicken's holding an egg? <laughs> what came first, the blaze kid or the lucky egg? Zoroark carries Intimidate? You gotta be kidding me. Catch this brick brick bitch. Catch this brick brick bitch. I said, catch this brick brick bitch. I can't possibly beat her with a legend on her side, even though it's only level 50, you know, right? It has Gust. Like, what the fuck? It has Gust. Well, we know all you have is False Swipe, and you can't catch my Pokemon, bitch. This ain't Coliseum, this ain't XD. You ain't catching my Pokemon, nigga. No, 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 no. Alright. Britannia's level 41. Get your level up on. Get your level up on. Even with a legendary by my side, I still lost. You would have been better off getting Entei Raikou and Suicune. Why must the forces of good always defeat us? Or perhaps it's because you're strong. You're not the champion for nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I like how she openly admits that she's evil. You ever notice that? Like, like I never understood. I never understood why in like movies and stuff where it's like blatant good versus evil. Why evil acknowledges the fact that they're bad. And don't understand why the good guys win. Whatever. So put this at once, Regina. It is against Arceus's will to capture a legendary Pokemon. If you release Ho oh, oh, I can lead you down the path of righteousness. I can take you to Arceus's kingdom. Oh, I can't do that, even for you, Pius. From this point on, I'm disbanding Team Fusion. I hate lugging them around everywhere. I will travel alone. Ho, oh, you fly. So she just taught Ho oh, fly. Okay, whatever. Should've taught him that in the battle. Use fly instead of gust. He's physical and does more damage. <laughs> this is not the last time I've seen Regina. I will search for her no matter what. If she refuses to return to the right path, I will force her onto it myself. However, I can. Knock it out. Use fly. All birds in the game are Pidgeot. Well, I suppose this isn't the end of our search, is it? Nappy, return to your quest for badges, okay? I'll find my mother in the meantime. Uh, you've done more than I could ever deserve. I hope I can make it up to you someday. But for now, take care and enjoy yourself. Again, a very anti climatic The orb refuses to budge. I was about to say, how come she shouldn't take them with her? This is a very anti climatic episode, indeed. 
And I don't understand, how come they can use fly? I thought fly was banned in the region. That's why you have to use the teleports. Well, technically, uh, with the, the luck boy, the creator of the ROM hack, like you guys let us know this, he couldn't set all the fly points, like the fly anchor points across two regions. That's why you can fly just in Tunod or fly to Tunod and you can't fly anywhere in Johto and they made the whole cover up story of ever since uh, Mount Sobe erupted, it's been like illegal to fly or whatever. Um, and that's why they have the teleport system in Johto and it's only in Johto and not in Tunod as well. So I don't understand if they're gonna make it so that you can't fly in the game and that it's illegal for anyone to fly in Johto, then how come you're just gonna have these niggas flatantly, bl fl flatantly, blatantly flying around? If I could fly, I would, but we already know from experience that teleport works. <sighs> I'm still, I'm still upset over Soul. I really am, because like I even said at the beginning of this episode, knock on wood, let's make sure that no one dies in this episode, and just couldn't do that one. Just couldn't get that one done. <sighs> All right, so we're back in Mahogany Town now. We're back in Mahogany Town now. Let us know in the comments section below who you think we should add to the team, either Togekiss or Frostlass, because those are honestly the best choices we have because we need special attackers. Let us know in the comment section below, Togekiss or Frostlass, who you think we should add to the team, and all that good love to be bullshit. But I think for now, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. In the next episode, we're gonna make our way through Ice Path and to Blackthorn City, if Blackthorn City is even still there. But we do need one more badge in the Johto region before we can head to the Johto Elite Four, the Johto League, I should say. But either way, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Glazed, and if you're prime of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash the like button down below for us. Your guys already know our goal is a powerful 4,000 likes for today's episode. So help us out and see if we can't make it there yet again. But with that, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thank you all once again for your support and thank you for checking out the video. Give me to that point I need to.